Hey everybody, JJ here. It is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. You got quite a bit of news to run through here. Now I just want to start off by saying I hope everybody out there is doing well. I know that there's a lot of people going through some really, really hard times right now. And I do read your comments. I try to read as many comments as possible. And I also know that when I do trade messages, direct messages with some of you, uh, a lot of you are doing very well. You've been preparing for this. You're Many of you are even much better prepared than I am for this economic downturn, this Great Depression 2.0 that we're likely headed into unless we see a miracle. Uh, but others uh, that I interact with and see in comments, again, you know, are struggling. And a lot of people lost their jobs. They're waiting for the next stimulus check. We just did our last report. Stimulus checks have been canceled indefinitely. We don't know if or when we'll see another stimulus check for the American people. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen when the moratoriums end, when the eviction uh, freezes are lifted. Um, nobody knows how bad it's going to get, but we do know that the writing is on the wall and the signs are not looking too good. Um, so I just want to say to everyone out there, if you're going through a tough time, uh, my thoughts are with you, my prayers are with you. And even if you're not going through a tough time, even, even if you think you're well prepared, uh, think about what's going to happen when everybody around you, maybe your neighbors, people in your neighborhood, uh, lose their jobs, they might lose their home. Um, you're going to see more desperate people out there and, and desperate people do desperate things and it could get real dangerous. So I want to encourage everybody again to prepare for what's ahead of us and even if you think you're situated very well right now, what else can you do to protect yourself uh, from what lies ahead of us, right? Security, uh, maybe move to a safer area, maybe not so close to a larger city, um, people are putting bars on their windows now, alarm systems, security systems, motion detectors, uh, safes, you know, for your uh, valuables. But let's get into the news here. CBS article right here, Fed Chair Jay Powell pushes for more stimulus, warning of a, quote, economic downward spiral. And we've talked about this uh, plenty of times. Uh, this economy... The reason it has not visibly imploded, now it has imploded when you look at the job losses, the uh, the lack of savings, uh, the number of people now that are dependent on a handout, uh, it's already imploded for the middle class, uh, for the lower class, the top 10%, uh, 10 percent, excuse me, is still doing very well. But the reason it has not visibly imploded is because of the stimulus, the Paycheck Protection Program, the Enhanced Unemployment Benefits, and uh, just the regular unemployment benefits, uh, the handouts, and the people that are getting their jobs back, ask yourself, are these jobs that are going to pay well enough, are they going to pay enough to keep people out of poverty? Or is it going to be the same? Is Are the rich going to continue to get richer? Uh, the poor and the middle class continue to live paycheck to paycheck. Uh, getting wiped out, right? Are there any long-term solutions being discussed right now um, that you see out there for many of our leaders, uh, for uh, millions of people out there, they think that something's going to change in November. Some people think that it's going to matter who wins in November, uh, and that's going to be the uh, the cure or the uh, the pill to treat this ailment. The ailment is, is debt. It's we don't have enough good paying jobs here. Jobs have been exported uh, overseas over the past several decades and now we go from a consumer nation where most people live paycheck to paycheck to now the people going from paycheck to paycheck now having no paycheck and more people reliant on handouts and the more control the more you are dependent on a handout the more you are under control. Right, so now it's they say jump, you say how high, and you're going to end up jumping through a lot of hoops, and you're going to end up, um, just to try to put it in general terms, you're going to end up being put in a lot of positions that you may not want to be in, and uh, it could be very dangerous. Right? I have to be really careful about what I say because there's a lot of sensitive people out there, but let's get into some other news here. Um, so yeah, Powell, economic downward spiral, absolutely, without more stimulus. Um, I see a lot of people, they say just let it crash. And let's pick up the pieces and try to build something better. Other people are saying, no, the Fed needs to come in and do endless stimulus, support this economy, 
uh, more stimulus checks, more bailouts for corporations. Um, so you see a divide in many different areas of this country. You also see it in the economic analysis. People, you know, have widely varying views. Uh, some people think the government needs to come in and do more. We're talking about socialized health care, um, UBI, universal basic income, right? So the government that has failed and put us in this position, people are asking for that same entity to come in and do more and ask yourself if they failed at what they've done so far, this monster they've created, this debt monster, do you think that something's going to click to make it start working in the future, right? So more failed policies, is that going to make things better? Is that going to fix this mess? Right? So ask yourself that because I see a lot of divided people, again, down in comments, ask yourself, is more of the same going to fix it? All right, if more stimulus was the cure, why not just double the stimulus, triple the stimulus, right? Pump the Dow Jones up to 30000 40000 Is that going to help the average person? Well, no, it may help some people, but mostly, again, the wealth transfer mostly helps the people at the top. All right, I'm sad to report this, but this is the reality. Um, article, recent article here out of The Guardian. Can central banks keep holding off the economic crisis that is the question it's all central bank propping that we're seeing right now worldwide central banks have control over the entire globe and where there's control there's manipulation where there's manipulation there's uh, bubbles there's misalignment of prices uh, there's inflation where there shouldn't be inflation when most people live paycheck to paycheck Generally, you shouldn't see rising prices. Recent CNBC article today, 12 million people asked for more time to file taxes. All right, so what's going to happen to change this? Is there going to be a big job surge? Are jobs going to come roaring back? All right, people can't pay their taxes. Millions of people can't pay their rent, can't pay their mortgages. And there's no solutions really being discussed. And we're coming up on another deadline, October 15th. So unless we see some huge announcement, another extension, uh, maybe more tax reform, um, that's going to be a possible reckoning day. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, we're only about eight days away from that date, October 15th. Um, a lot of people are in very, very big trouble. But wait a minute. I thought there was an economic recovery, a V-shaped recovery, right? Why are there so many millions of people they can't pay their taxes and all these other expenses. Right? The people at the top, they've recovered rather well. Uh, CEOs, I've read, still uh, getting their raises, getting their bonuses. Uh, but it's the little guys, the lot of, a lot of the uh, frontline employees that are getting let go. And like we talked about in our last video, people are going from getting paid barely enough to get by to now the Dollar Tree is going to be hiring 25,000 people for the holidays. All right, we talked about banks. Profits have been dropping in a recent article here out of Bloomberg. Wells Fargo, more than 700 jobs in commercial banking. Right, We are seeing a real estate apocalypse in commercial real estate right now with all of the empty stores. And some of them were nationwide chains, but a lot of them were small businesses, locally owned and ran businesses. And so commercial banking is now going to feel the pain along with the average business owner that lost their business during this shutdown. Okay, where are these 700 people that were working in commercial banking? Where are they going to go work now? Is it going to be the Dollar Tree? Is it going to be Starbucks? Uh, one more article here before we wrap it up today. Um, some areas are going to feel this downturn, this depression worse than others. New York City, I feel for you if you live in New York because um, your city has been shut down and decimated economically. 90% uh, of New York City restaurants and bars couldn't pay their full rent in August. And you've heard the expression, all real estate is local. Well, we've seen uh, rents dropping in New York, Manhattan, plunging condo and townhome prices, um, an absolute economic wipeout. And people are getting out of that city in large numbers. All right, so we're going to leave it there, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well uh, during this time. Um, no one knows exactly the, the direction uh, this economy is going to take. It could be 
endless stimulus all the way to uh, hyperinflation, mega inflation. Um, it could be uh, some sort of collapse where you see deflation. Nobody knows. It could be an economic uh, complete transformation or what's what a lot of people are calling an economic reset. We'll talk about that possibility more here uh, in a few reports as I'm gathering some data on that. But everybody be careful. Uh, stay prepared. Uh, stay healthy even if you're not healthy uh, financially. If you're unemployed, having a tough time, work on yourself. Uh, try to de-stress, get exercise, get more rest. If you're out of work, maybe you'll have time to uh, rest more, exercise more, just enjoy nature, go for walks. You know, a lot of the things that you wish you could have done when you were working 40 hours a week, maybe more, maybe working overtime, try to do now your hobbies, um, but also continue to prepare. Uh, stay well, everybody. Until next time, peace.